All right, folks, so today I want to take an in-depth dive into line integrals unlike you've ever seen them before. So today we're going to understand line integrals using hair dryers, plastic cups, and perhaps even a bit of carpet. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is the hair dryer. It's going to act as the vector field. This is the plastic coffee cup upon which the vector fields will produce some work. And finally, here's the carpet. The carpet represents the path taken by the particle as the vector field does some work on the particle. And now finally we have all three components of the line integral coming together. First and foremost you can see the hair dryer which represents the vector fields F. Next you're going to see the plastic cup coming out and that's of course going to represent the particle upon which the vector fields acts. And lastly you have the carpet and the carpet represents the path or BR which is the last component of the line integral. Alright folks, so let's try to understand what just happened, alright? So we really have three elements. Number one, we have the vector field itself, right? So we have this kind of a, this kind of a hair dryer, if you will, and that produces some kind of vector field. So I'm going to turn it on right now so you can see what I mean. So this hair dryer produces the vector field, but what's the path that my that my cup is taking? Well, I'm going to show you right now on the paper, okay? So you can imagine the carpet imagine that the carpet is the xy plane over here okay so we're on the xyz plane r3 and the carpet is some kind of acts as some kind of a path it acts as some kind of a parametric path r of t for my object for my particle and of course what is my particle my particle is the cup right so we can just use this pink point let's call it p to represent my cup now of course my vector field, my vector field, my my hair dryer, how do I of course it does some work on my particle as my par particle traverses through the vector field, right? So we're gonna visualize the work done using these arrows. Now of course you remember that you can also calculate the work done on a path by a vector field on a particle by a line integral, right? And of course you can do that using the line integral along the curve C, we can call this curve or this parametric curve R of T as C and you can uh, find the line integral by doing the dot product of what? You take the dot product of the path which we can denote as dr with the vector field itself which we can denote as f and of course f is produced by none other than the hair dryer okay so folks that right there is how you compute the work done by the hair dryer on my white coffee cup and thank you for watching